Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin is the man who is now being backed by the president. This coming after a report in the Wall Street Journal over the long Thanksgiving weekend that said uh, that the president had soured on Steven Mnuchin, as he has uh, so often on other aides and cabinet members during the course of his administration. The Wall Street Journal su suggesting uh, that the president had soured on him because of the stock market's performance, suggesting that if Mnuchin was so good, the stock market wouldn't be as flat as it is. Uh, the president responding on Twitter. Here's what he wrote uh, over the weekend, backing Mnuchin. Mnuchin saying, I am extremely happy and proud of the job being done by U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin. The fake news likes to write stories to the contrary, quoting phony sources or jealous people, but they aren't true. They never like to ask me for a quote because it would kill their story. Now, the Wall Street Journal we should say, responded to that uh, over the weekend as well and noted that they re re requested comment from the White House several times in the preparation of their story. So we'll see where that goes on this week in which the president uh, is going to be going to the G20 uh, in Argentina, where he's going to be negotiating with the Chinese. Mnuchin, a key player in all of that as well this week. And a reminder uh, for the president over the weekend, if he was watching the Sunday shows, of some of the difficulty he's going to face now with Democrats empowered up on Capitol Hill. Adam Schiff, uh, the incoming presume, uh, presumed leader of the Intelligence Committee on Capitol Hill, uh, suggesting that the president is not handling the relationship between the United States and Saudi Arabia appropriately. Here's what Schiff had to say over the weekend. We need to speak up for our democratic values. Um, the president, uh, you know, it would be one thing if the president were leveling with the American people and saying, OK, this is what happened. This is what we know. This is what took place. Uh, but nonetheless, we need to maintain a relationship with the kingdom. But that's not what he's doing. Uh, and I, I just think that it causes our standing in the world to plummet. Uh, it, it telegraphs to despots around the world. They can murder people with impunity. Uh, and that this president will have his, their back as long as they praise him, as long as they, they do business with him potentially. Is going to look at like with empowered Democrats up on Capitol Hill investigating and questioning this president each step of the way. That's not something that President Trump has had to deal with in his first two years in office. Next year could be a very different look for this administration, guys. Back over to you. Okay, uh, Eamon Javers, uh, one question on, on sure. the Stephen Mnuchin back and forth. There have been instances, of course, where uh, there have been reports about somebody that uh, was supposedly in or out of favor with the president. The president then would go on Twitter, say how much he loves that person, and then, you know, a week or two later, they, right. it would be clear that they really weren't in their good graces. So what, what do you know about this? You know, often what you see is the president decides that he's going to back that person just to sort of spite the press who reported that that person was out of favor, even though that person is out of favor. It gets kind of Byzantine in this White House from time to time. My sense is uh, that Mnuchin and Larry Kudlow are sort of uh, in the dominant position right now in terms of the negotiation over China, uh, but this wobbliness on Mnuchin, uh, I, I have no reason to question the Wall Street Journal on it, and that gives you pause going into the G20 in Buenos Aires this week uh, of whether or not the president is reconsidering his approach on China. Remember, the two things that the journal reported that the president's frustrated about, one is the stock market's performance, and the other one is the Fed and Jay right. Powell, and blaming Mnuchin for suggesting Jay Powell or backing Jay Powell initially. Uh, you wonder if the president's looking for someone to blame here for the stock market the but, stock but it also then raises the question if 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 you're sitting in Beijing this morning trying to understand right. all this and who you're going to be negotiating with <laughs> over the weekend who you should be pressing who you should be trying to befriend right that's where it gets complicated Right. You know, presumably uh, folks in Beijing looking at the, this administration saw Mnuchin as somebody that they could do business with, uh, somebody who was sort of a global business leader, had experience around the world uh, before this administration. And now right. uh, they look at this and say, you know, sort of scratch their heads and say, is it possible the there's somebody in the White House some... on the other side of Mnuchin who's trying to undermine him ahead of this? Meaning in the I sort of you, soap opera some, that is? I guarantee you there's somebody else inside the White House who's trying to undermine him. A absolutely. Yes. Okay. Uh, look, this is this White House has been, uh, you know, the, the classic team of rivals times a million. Right. I mean, this is an, a White House in which people have very different ideas about how to proceed uh, and they work across purposes all the time. And, and you could be seeing that as well this week.